Hello, my name is Konrad Förstner. I'm a researcher and I'm also a podcaster. And I would like to share you my motivation and my yeah, beliefs in terms of podcasting as a scientist. Thinking back, that's, that is actually a little bit hard. I think I started maybe 2005, maybe a little bit later, listening to podcasts. And that was, I would say, the, the early phase of podcasting. And for me, since then, podcasts are one very important source for gaining information. I have a computational background or I did a PhD in, in bioinformatics at that time and I was always staring at the screen all the time and consuming information via um, an audio format was, was always a um, good alternative to staring again at the screen. Additionally, also the way podcasts were basically trans translating the outside world into images in my head that was also very unique and a lot of niches were, were covered with, with this. And during that time, more and more different um, podcasts came up also in the, in the field of, of uh, science. And I still remember um, this week in microbiology and this week in virology were some things that I started with at some point in, in, the, in the scientific podcasts. And at the same time, or in the same um, time frame, I got more in contact with open science. And over the years, this all developed. And in 2013, Matthias Fromm started his podcast, um, Open Science Radio. And at some point, so he did this in kind of a monologue and sometimes invited some, some guests. But at some point, he said, OK, it would be interesting to have a dialogue. And well, he asked the community who would like to join him and I thought, oh, that, that, is, that is a great opportunity. I would love to discuss more about open science. And basically I, I sent Matthias an email and he said, well, yes, let, let's do this together. And since then, since uh, January of 2014, I am basically co-host of Open Science Radio. And since then we are talking about, well, different aspects of open science we have guests we go to conferences and talk to people there and for myself this kind of format is great because in the discussion and in the recorded discussion basically i rethink uh, certain topics i have different perspectives matthias is also a, a great thinker and asks great questions and this is always uh, a lot of joy for me i do not, at least so far, do not cover so much my actual research. It's because um, the focus of the of the podcast is actually open science. But I am still planning to do this further and also to integrate more of my actually um, group members into that. Still, as a researcher, I think um, a podcast can open up a lot of doors for you. It gives you different perspectives. It gives you also reason to talk to people you might not have uh, talked to and uh, gives a certain frame. It helps you also to uh, question your own beliefs and, well, more importantly, also gives them the result of this uh, to others. And all this together is for me, uh, um, or is a great yeah, opportunity for me to, to spread knowledge to others, to extend my own knowledge and to uh, cover new topics. And especially in the field of um, open science, I mean, open science is, is, is not a research field by itself, but it's, it's a meta field that is basically the foundation or should be the foundation for, for all sciences out there. Or in a way, as it's often said, um, open science is just science done right. And basically, as this is such a meta topic, the um, different aspects are rather broad and that is very interesting especially in the early times of open science. And meanwhile, I would say open science is widely adapted, still a lot of work needs to be done. But in these early times, how should I say this, this, uh, this kind of thinking, this kind of uh, working as open science, uh, science um, advocate was kind of a thing fighting against the mainstream, being more in the niche. And having somebody to discuss all these kind of things and seeing, you no, know, you're not alone, but uh, there are many people thinking this direction was actually very helpful, in my opinion. And I can imagine this is also, let's say, the positive psychological effect of such a, uh, of a podcast, actually, that you have a nice discussion with a friend, with, with somebody, you, you share some, some values 
and um, having this recorded and spread to a broader community, that is a very good feeling. So also from the psychological perspective, I think that that can bring you further. Also, if you basically have a very dedicated or as a limited uh, topic that you will discuss, you might um, sometimes need kind of a mental support or a psychological support to uh, keep up the good work and, and uh, fight against all the uh, problems that research can bring to you. Technique wise, I think this is today much easier. So you can record easily. We, we still try to use mostly open source tools, at least for the recording. Um, we also testing some, some other platforms right now, but in principle, we use Audacity for the recording and a studio link. Although we are also experimenting with other tools like uh, Zencaster, for example, that makes it rather easy to um, yeah, basically share uh, or work together with others. There are, um, I think, a, a lot of uh, tools out there that, that can assist with this. Also in terms of, well, getting started, I would say start, start simple. You can, in principle, use a phone, maybe additionally for, for the interaction with the other person and your, your laptop or a computer to record locally. And um, why I think quality is important, I think you can gain this today rather easily and um, start from there and then step by step get into, let's say, the, the, the fine uh, parts of this. I have to admit, uh, luckily Matthias is doing most of the editing for us. That is very helpful for me, so I'm not too deep into that, uh, but I think that is kind of doable. And if you start with, let's say, lower expectations, I think you can get something out there. Content is anyway king, so if you have good content, I think people might also understand if the quality is not super duper. And regarding platforms also there, well, we as Open Science Radio are strong proponents of um, openness. This is why we use WordPress and basically the plugins for, for supporting podcasts in there. And uh, clearly this might be not possible for everybody, so there are other platforms that are supporting this. I, I, I would still try to, well, work with open tools if possible. That is, I think, everything I would like to share. I thank you very much for your attention. Feel free to contact me, uh, listen to Open Science Radio if you want to want to see how this looks like. We do this in German and in English, so maybe you you find an episode for you that that uh, covers a topic that is close to yours or that is interesting to you. Otherwise, yeah, feel free to contact me, and um, yeah, I wish you happy podcasting. If you feel now inspired, starting your own podcast and um, hope to see you at some point. Thank you very much and goodbye. Yeah.